So let me start off by taking you back to when my guy Hoodie Ramey, who y'all all know on Ravens Twitter because he always dropping bangers, to where he tweeted something and he said, nah, this might be the craziest thing that I've heard all week. Let's listen to see what he was talking about. To say Hollywood Brown would not start on any of these, uh, of these other units that we consider. He wouldn't start for, for, for the Bills. He wouldn't start for Kansas City. He wouldn't star for Aaron Rodgers. So Bart Scott was just randomly talking about Hollywood wouldn't start for the Chiefs and the Packers and the Bills. But why? W why would he even be having that conversation? Well, let me show you. A lot of people want to give that credit to Kyler Murray, but Lamar Jackson's doing this without a, a great supporting cast right now. You talk about losing Orlando Brown Jr. You talk about Ronnie Stanley not being available. You know, Hollywood Brown, even though he's had some good games, he wouldn't be at your one or two on most other teams that have you know MVP caliber um, quarterbacks. So Lamar Jackson's put this all on himself, and he's carrying a team, an organization that can't you know win games right now. This defense is still trying to figure itself out. You know, you know at the quarterback position, they're really struggling. And Lamar Jackson said, it doesn't matter what the circumstances is. I'll figure it out, coach. And that's what you want to see from a franchise quarterback. To me, he's the best quarterback in the league right now. He's doing more than any other quarterback oh, actually doing. You talk about over. Oh, he's only paid for five thousand yards for passing and over a thousand yards rushing, and that would be historic. Nobody in the history of football, either now or, or in the future, can ever duplicate that. He's a special talent. That's quarterback. Ah, uh, and now we know Bart Scott's why. And this was a different kind of why because we're used to analysts and experts tearing down Lamar Jackson's name in order to build up other quarterbacks. But in this case, Bart Scott sort of remixed it a little bit. He built up Lamar Jackson's name while tearing Hollywood Browns down. Because he was saying that Lamar Jackson is doing more with less. And he was saying that Hollywood Brown ain't nothing special. He's not a number one wide receiver. And he would not start for half of these teams. And Hollywood's response to that was, his name Bart. What you expect? And so this started a sort of, sort of beef between the two. And when you think about the teams that he originally listed... He said that Hollywood wouldn't start for the Chiefs. If I'm not mistaken, didn't they just sign Josh Gordon? Ain't they still waiting for McCole Harbin to do something? They still counting on Demarcus Robinson? They still waiting for their other guys to step up and be that other receiver to compliment Tyreek Hill? So I'm pretty sure he would start there. Then he named the Packers. Right now, Devontae Adams, one of the best wide receivers in the league. He has over 540 receiving yards. Next... Next leading receiver on the Packers after Devontae Adams is Randall Cobb, and he has about 150. So you, you mean to tell me that Hollywood Brown would not be a starter with the Packers too? What? Then, okay, let's take it to the Bills, Josh Allen and them boys. I got, I got love for them boys too. So Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. You know old Stephon Diggs is that dude. And he from Maryland too? Oh, love him even more. And opposite him... Emmanuel Sanders, he's cool, good route runner, good hands, older, but he still get the job done. Gabe Davis uh, also got Cole Beasley, too. You mean to tell me Hollywood couldn't be a starter with the Bills? Come on now, Bart. You know, you know better than that, Bart. So with all that being said, um, that also leads us to the topic of Bart Scott saying that Hollywood Brown is not a number one wide receiver. Well, that had actually been the subject and the topic amongst a lot of Ravens fans too. Is Hollywood Brown a number one receiver? Is he a number one? And especially going into this offseason, that was the big talk of the town. But let's actually see what Hollywood had to say about him either being or not being a number one wide receiver and how he felt about all the receivers that the Ravens had. Let me, let me ask you, because you know it's the talk with Ravens yeah. flock, with all the Ravens fans, with all the Ravens community. Yeah. All the talk is about them adding the number one receiver. Yeah. How you feel about that? And do you feel like you can be that guy? Because I already know my answer. But I wanna Honestly, ask you. honestly, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I do. I'm a playmaker, you feel me? Right. We ask somebody else, you know, I'm going to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing but learn. <laughs> either way, if we ask yeah. somebody, I'm going to learn and still do my job. So either way. So we ask somebody, if we don't, I feel like what we got. You know, out of, I'm confident in every receiver we got in the room, to be honest. Right. And if we ask somebody, I'm gonna be confident in them too. So right. we just gotta, we honestly, we just gotta get on the same page and just do what we do. Yeah, I feel you. And what's crazy is that all of his words have come to fruition because this is before the draft, before they drafted Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace. This was before free agency, before they end up signing Sammy Watkins. This was before all of that. But Hollywood, everything that he said has ended up happening. They added Sammy Watkins, and he, of course, has learned a lot from Sammy Watkins, and he has benefited so much 
from Sammy Watkins from having a receiver opposite of him that commands respect. He's been eating. He is, I think he, he's number two in receiving touchdowns right now because number one is, uh, is Mike Williams from the Chargers, and then they're like, Four or five other receivers that got five touchdowns, and Hollywood is one of them. And then when it comes to yards, I believe he's number eight. So he is top ten in the, the most important categories for a receiver. So to say he's not a number one, I mean, numbers don't lie, do they? They don't always tell the whole story, but in this case, they're speaking the truth. And with Hollywood Brown, something that I said personally, and a lot of Ravens fans, y'all will understand, but with Hollywood Brown, my thing with him, and I said it after his rookie season, I said it after last year too. I said, if they use Hollywood Brown like they use him in the playoffs, whoo, it's game over. It's game over. Because if you watch how they use him in the regular season, send him on them fly routes, send him on the goal routes, so that's it. But then in the playoffs, they got him doing a little bit of everything. We saw it against the Titans. Then we saw it last year against the Titans and against the Bills. They used him so effectively and efficiently. And this, this was before Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins was not a Raven yet. So then this year, they asked Sammy Watkins, and they actually been using Hollywood like playoff Hollywood. And guess what's been happening? Literally every single game, he's been wide open. He's been, wide, he's been open all season long. Every single game against every single team, Hollywood has not been covered. So is that what you want from a number one wide receiver? What, what do you want from a number one wide receiver? Catches? Yards? Touchdowns? To get open? Sound like number one wide receiver material to me. But anyway, Bart Scott... He, he, he got a hold of what Hollywood said about him when he said, oh, his name Bart, what'd you expect? And this is how he responded. He actually doubled down. Let's listen. First, I'm sure you'd like to address the young Hollywood Brown who plays for your Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, because it ain't his. It's actually mine. So all, all he has to do, if he want to figure out what my credentials are Why don't you look at the or see how verified I am, just walk down the hallways that, you know, I don't know how often you go upstairs where they keep the real posters of the people that meant, meant something for that organization. But when you walk down that hallway, you're going to see pictures of me, homeboy. Like, and they, they, they've been there since I left. Like, your pictures are just part of the catch of the week. They do that to make you feel good. But, you know, eventually they give those away to all the players at the end of the year. Mine stayed. So, listen, this talk about blood in the soil, DNA. You know what I'm saying? I, I built bricks. I added bricks to that to that legacy over there. So don't 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 ever come at me, bro. So it's all good. I understand. You gotta defend yourself. But what I was talking about was really more about Lamar Jackson and his greatness. Not the fact that you aren't a number one, which you aren't. But you know, in this league, what you have to realize and understand is you have to have self awareness. And the fact that they went out and they drafted Rashad Bateman lets you know that they're not sold on you as a number one. That's okay. There's been plenty of number twos in this league. But my statement remains the same, and it stays correct. Like, not only am I verified in Baltimore, I'm verified by anybody that ever played from the 11 years that I played about what I stood for. And what I'm not going to do is just lie to make you feel good. The truth of the matter is, Lamar does more with less than anybody. Now, I think the producers, they got a little tired of him because they end up cutting off his mic while he was still going. <laughs> With Boss Scott, this, this was just strange to me because it's like you, you tear somebody down. Okay, you're an analyst, you're on ESPN, that's expected. But when they retaliate, then you start to get personal. Oh, no, y'all know who I am with the Ravens. And he was good with the Ravens. You got to give him that. We, we all know who Bart Scott was, number 57. We, we know what time it was. But for you to have to get turned into Mr. Big Chest just because somebody responded to you, responded to what you, not came at you, but responded to what you said. I just, I, I, I didn't get that part. Him standing by what he said, though, hey, I got no problem with that. Even if I disagree, I got no problem with him standing on his word. And the fact that he actually replied directly 
to Hollywood on Twitter. No problem with that either. You said something, you saw he addressed it, you replied directly to him. No problem with that at all. But it just seems as if he, as an analyst, as an analyst, you're supposed to be by the numbers. You're supposed to like, obviously give your opinion and whatnot on whatever the subject that you and your crew are talking about on, on TV. But then when you make it personal, that's where it, it, things go a little bit left. And, and he made it personal with his previous statement. Now, let's, let's listen to the next one, too. On within your conference, you would not start over anybody in that conference. That's just the facts. So I had to pause real quick right there. Now, 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 why are we really going like that? Now, this is how you could tell when somebody just feelings are taking over. When they said he wouldn't start over nobody in the whole conference. So in the whole AFC, he's saying Hollywood would not be a st All right, let's just keep going. You wouldn't start over Jamar Chase. You wouldn't start over T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. You wouldn't start over Pittsburgh's uh, receivers. You ain't starting over Beckham and Landry. So, like, where's the lie? Like, I can continue to go if you want. If you want to keep going there, would you start for a terrific time? Nah. I probably think Evans, they're good on Evans, your cousin, Antonio Brown, and you, you would probably be the fifth receiver there. But then we can go to Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. That's a no as well. We can go to Justin Herbert, and we can say, okay, well, you're not starting over – uh, Williams, or you're not starting over Keenan Allen. Okay. You want to go to Kyler Murray, A.J. Green, Hopkins? That'll be another no. You want to go to Patrick Mahomes? Well, maybe he'll let you play with Patrick Mahomes, but if Sammy Walker's still there, we know that's not right. Dak Prescott? No. Um, Josh Allen and his squad? No. Emmanuel Sanders, Beasley, um, Diggs? So listen, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. What I was trying to do is build up Lamar Jackson. And maybe... A byproduct of that is I pushed you down a little bit, young fella, and your feelings are hurt, and that's part of your defense mechanism. But come on, man. My name my name is Bartholomew. Yes. And Bartholomew will get an interview anywhere. Marquise, Marquise, mm, you might not get called back sometimes, bro. So, you know, Hollywood, unless you're going to be one of the, um, the, 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 what do you call it, the Chippendale dancers or something like that, that ain't going to get you nowhere anywhere, man, because – your career so far has been anything but Hollywood. It's been more Bollywood than anything, but it's okay. But if you want to clap back and listen, I see you. Be very careful. Like right now, you start off a new career, uh, RG3. Don't make me at you because your qualifications as an NFL player, hmm, let's not pull up your resume. So I'll leave that at that. But you just sipped tea in Baltimore. You actually didn't play or do anything to help other than hold, uh, make sure that uh, the bubbles was rinsed off Lamar Jackson's back. So I'll leave that at that. And remember, RG3 does work for us here. So. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to, you know, paths, be, be, paths, be. Or paths could cross. See, that's where it went a little too much for me. And this is how you can tell that Bar Scott, this must have been something that Bar Scott has been waiting to let out for a long time because of just how he has been going. Like, it's one thing to say, all right, you're not a number one. You're not a number two. You wouldn't start over all these dudes in, in the AFC. Then he started just naming the teams, period, in the AFC and the NFC. Okay, that's how you feel. Fine. But then when he took it to the whole, oh, my, with my name, I get a call back with your name. You probably wouldn't get a call. Back. I was like, oh, oh, okay now. Again, keep it, keep it where it's at. You ain't got to go there, Bart. Um, but then on top of that, um, this is how you can tell that the, the feelings are so, it, it got personal for Bart Scott because he, all right, he said everything he said about Hollywood. So, but then he went to RG3. Then he got RG3 involved. And it's like you and you you're really trying to pull cards on RG3 too. And I, I it, it, this whole thing is just a mess, man. It's just a mess. So what I hope happens is that all of these fellas can just come to peace with everything. Just move on. And they ain't gotta be friends. You ain't gotta be friends with everybody, but hopefully they all just keep on doing their own thing. Hopefully Hollywood keep putting up his numbers. Keep showing that he's the number one wide receiver. And Boss Scott keep trying to put numbers up for ESPN. Cause you know that it, that got to be something. Like ESPN must have sent something to his cash app. Like, but Ray's been rough. Even though that that Monday Night Football game left the other way. Hey, that was that was fire. But we 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 gotta like it feels like it was so long ago. We gotta build up something. Come on, but like throw us a little something. He's like, all right, I got y'all boys, man. Especially cause it's my team. I, I got y'all. But anyway. 
Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all are good. I know right now Bart, Bart ain't too good right now. He's a little upset, but it's, it's okay. Everybody will get through it. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Yeah.